Alrighty, let's play this as always in full. Whoa. <laughs> alright, interesting. Alright, 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 okay. Let me check. Check your email. So you're saying that the first time he goes through this to grab something. Um the first time he jumps into the frying pan trying to catch something with the head. After that he goes behind the spoon. I guess we would have to cover that then. Alright, so during those moments he will cover that. Especially here again. Okay. And then when he goes, so all of this will be then hidden. And then it would almost have to be them behind that, right? Let's see, what are you saying here? Just let me catch something with the claws, okay. Yeah, it would have to be behind everything. And then as it goes up now, it's able to go in front of it and grabs that. All right. So my reaction to this, this I'm, I'm concerned about this moment here. Now, disclaimer, you are saying that you started from scratch here, it was much easier, but it's a rough pass, mainly focusing on the whole body scale and speed. My concern is this, the moment that pan starts moving, especially here, is such a fast move. Even if it holds on and claw, uh, claws onto it, like that body will be here and the head would still be here. It would be such a drag on that body. And I know you're saying it's still rough. So just watch out if you can work that in there. It feels very parented to the pan, which I know that's probably what you're working with. But just make sure there's a lot of drag in there. And you might also kind of look at your posing where your initial wings could be up here into something like that. Like it's always kind of ready to do whatever it needs to do. And that way we have a cleaner silhouette. Because right now, if you squint, like I don't know what's going on. I just see this. So you wanna, uh, on your first pose, really make sure that that head pose there is clean. And then by that, I would probably try to bring out those, um, uh, those wings, like I said, like that will be a clean silhouette so we understand what's going on. And then maybe depending on how you want to do this, if I go into my coloring stuff here, you know, maybe it would be really looking at this and you can have looks that, that go around. And if I'm going to change a color again into something weird, it might even have a bit of a, mm, like the tongue is out. That's my weird tongue here. <laughs> All right, let's go back. Let's go back to, let's go back to green. Let's go back to green. So I would look at potentially that as a starting point and in that way when you do this we have a bit more room where you know the legs could be up here and the body i mean at this point the legs would probably be left behind there with the claws and then the body will be back here with the tail up and then maybe you know the wings are up like whoa like what's going on and then maybe one foot comes off or, or like you have it here it might just jump off so that whole beginning here just watch out it's gonna be very very tricky to do you might even you might even do something where it's looking at this, that comes in, and because of that, it almost sees it as a threat or something, and then it starts to get up higher, so that when this happens, here, you have that little baby bit of a move, but by now, it's already up in the air, and only one leg came with it. One leg is being pulled over, and it's already in the air. So just the thought, because right now, I'm also concerned that once we're here, we are very uh, low in frame. Like there's so much room here. I would love for it to be always kind of up here, like not lower than that. I'm concerned about how low we are here. Um, and then you might have to consider maybe a different color for the, for the dragon because it's kind of all blending in right now in this. It's a... It's ever so slightly... I know before that we were talking about it being too heavy. I mean, you're gonna have to work on that a bit more. Now it's still rough because of all the head and the chest and the 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 pelvis. So there's no there's no overlap there. But I think in order to get up like this, I would go a bit further with the wings, where you might go just a bit higher than with this, where they are just a bit lower, just more. This seems like half flaps, and I don't feel like 
that that distance to cover such distance in Y here in TY and going up with such a half flap feels a bit weird. So I would probably extend, make these a bit, a bit bigger, and I would probably also go with the dragon then being uh, being here. What is he doing afterwards? Mm, he has to get in there. Well, again, I'm concerned that we're just very, very edgy in that corner. So to me, it feels like it would, uh, from the beginning here, come down maybe here and then and then hover, hover, hover to be maybe around here. And then you can always have a bigger flap where it goes back and then it can go into this. This is cute. I like that. There's a slight feel of going this way and then suddenly coming up a bit too soon, a bit too soon here. It almost feels like he wants to be here, given the energy and everything. And then you have to look at the magical floatiness where it comes up and then it just kind of hangs there without any flaps, nothing. And then it drops and then it stops too soon. Like the, the body going up like here, that would happen once the wings are maybe down here, between here and here. So you're going to have to start that flap a lot sooner. A, have some sort of a flap here so you can hover. And then, and then by now the wings are down to go up. So they are a bit delayed, but I like your the contrast and when it happens. That's so cool. I like that there's some movement there. And maybe like that, like it's trying to get in there, but it can't. And then I will probably do a bit of a bigger correction. So it doesn't land here again, so it lands here. And then after that, you have a bit more room to go in there and then do that. And I would probably have this exit here. Like this would be here just for silhouette. And maybe it's red instead of yellow so that it really stands out with that overblown background. Um, but imagine this would be here. So you have a really nice silhouette of the object. And so it's not in front of that object there. All right. That's it. That's kind of what I have. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.